We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. We could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has created a colour catalogue to help find life on distant, frozen worlds. vibrancy fans out across the bay, blues and greens tipping over into reds and cannot be seen, vivid signatures sketched out in bands across the frozen, broken water. Carefully we pick the hues, dropping colours into spectral baskets, bouquets of ice to catalogue new life amongst the stars. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Astrobiology, which has created the first colour catalogue of icy planet surface signatures to help uncover the existence of life in the cosmos. The search for life on extraterrestrial planets has tended to focus on exoplanets, those planets that orbit a star outside the solar system, that are neither too hot nor too cold, and which are fairly similar in their makeup to Earth, i.e. rocky planets that are comparable distance to their nearest star as we are to the Sun. However, recent research has also shown that snowball planets, i.e. rocky planets like Earth with their oceans frozen, could also sustain life. Such worlds would have no liquid water on their surfaces, just ice and little to no land areas. Yet if these land areas were near the equators of these planets, then the temperatures in those regions could be warm enough to make them more habitable. Furthermore, extremophiles, organisms such as lichen or bacteria that are able to live in extreme environments, could also survive and prosper in the extreme cold of these distant frozen planets and moons. In searching for life on the surface of icy exoplanets and exomoons, it is also necessary to have something to compare these observations to. In this new study, researchers have developed a colour-coded guide based on the reflection spectra of eight true microorganisms found in ice and water here on Earth. These samples were taken from Kujuarapik, Quebec, from right across the frozen Hudson Bay. This study also found that such biosignatures were more intense in drier environments, suggesting that locations that are drier than Earth, and which contain microbial life forms, could potentially represent good targets for future space missions. The spectra library that was produced in this study covers the visible to near infrared, and it is now hoped that it will act as a guide for future searches for surface life on icy worlds. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. A vibrancy fans out across the bay, blues and greens tipping over into reds and cannot be seen, vivid signatures sketched out in bands across the frozen, broken water. Carefully we pick the hues, dropping colours into spectral baskets, bouquets of ice to catalogue new life amongst the stars. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence by Matthew Rohrer. Matthew Rohrer is an American poet who was born in Ann Arbor, Michigan in 1970. He earned his MFA from the University of Iowa Writers' Workshop, and his poetry collections include A Hummock in the Maluccas, published in 1995, Satellite, published in 2001, and The Others, published in 2017. His various accolades include a Pushcart Prize, the Believer Book Award, and the Griffin International Poetry Prize. Rora teaches writing at New York University and lives in Brooklyn, New York. Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence by Matthew Rora. I'm writing upside down with the space pen, listening to the rain. 
My wife is writing about the Black Death and its effects on art and asks me, where are your pants? They are on the floor in front of our new couch where I arrange them to spell out L-O-V-E. A vegetable, mystic thrill runs through me. The couch is something's antenna. It bears good love to us here over the laundromat. I'm waiting for the light beings to remove my roof. Our bedroom is lousy with clothes, spelling out greetings if anyone's up there who can read English. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.